There are many different ultrasonic distance sensors available. Usually, they're all cheap and also quite accurate. The CHSR04 seems to be the most popular out there. So we're going to compare it to the CHSR05 and the US100 to see which sensor is the best one. An ultrasonic distance sensor works by sending out a sound wave from the transmitter. This sound wave then bounces off the object in front of it and returns to the receiver. If we measure the time between the sending and the return of the signal, we know how long it took for the signal to leave the device, bounce off the object and come back again. So we can then measure the distance as we now have measured the time and we know the speed of sound, which is about 340 meters per second. So just by simply multiplying time with the speed of sound, we know the distance to the object and back again. But we're only interested in knowing the distance to the object. That's why we divide everything in two. All three sensors work in this way. Let's have a quick look at the specs of the three boards. The HCSR04 and HCSR05 has a working voltage of about 5 volts. If you deviate from this voltage, the measurements are going to be unstable. The US100 got a working voltage of 3 to 5 volts. The maximum range for all boards is about 4.5 meter. The minimum range is about 2 centimeters. And the measuring angle is about 15 degrees. And all boards have about the same precision. We tested all these boards with different distances. The result from our test is mainly that all three boards are very accurate. Individual measurement was a bit more reliable on the CHSR05 and the US100 than compared to the CHSR04. But the results are so close that we'd have to redo the test with at least a few dozen boards to determine a real difference. So the results of our test is that all boards performed well. But if we go back to the comparison table, we can see that the US100 has a built-in temperature sensor and it can also communicate with your device using serial communication on its RX and TX pins. What does that mean? On the back side of the US100, there's a jumper. If you remove the jumper, it works exactly like the other boards. But if you leave the jumper in place, you no longer have to handle the trigger and receiver of the US100. It does it for you. Additionally, it reads the temperature and adjusts the calculations. And it returns it all on serial communication. And why should we care about this? Well. Because the sound speed varies depending on temperature. At 45 degrees Celsius, sound travels at about 358 meters per second. At 21 degrees Celsius, it travels at about 343.6 meters per second. And at minus 1 degree, it travels at about 330.4 meters per second. The formula for adjusting for temperature is as follows. This means that there's an 8.35% difference if you measure at minus 1 degrees Celsius than if you measure at 45 degrees Celsius. If we compare prices, we see that the HCSR04 is very cheap. The HCSR05 is a bit more expensive, while the US100 is a bit more expensive than that again. But they're all still very cheap. But there is a price difference. So in total, our verdict is that the US100 is the best sensor. While it is a bit more expensive, you get a very accurate and reliable board. And since it can operate on 3.3 and 5 volts, you can not only use it with your 5 volt Arduinos, but you can use it with your 3.3 volts Arduinos, your ESP8266, ESP32, and also the Raspberry Pi. 
And given the fact that it can handle the distance measurement pretty much for you and adjust it for temperature, it makes it ideal for running with apps like Blink that do not like delays. And additionally, if you're using the ESP01 that only has a few pins, you can just use the RX and TX pin to communicate with the distance sensor. If you agree or disagree with our opinion, please let us and viewers know in the comments below. We're gonna leave a link to all products in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Hope to see you next time.